You want to be an actuary, you understand that there's some sort of an exam process, but what do you do as your first step? How do you start becoming an actuary? This is the question that I'm asked all the time. I get questions from people saying they're in high school and they want to become an actuary. I get questions from people saying they completed a bachelor's degree in XYZ and they decided they might want to switch into becoming an actuary. So what do you do? As a quick note to the high school students, the university program that you should be looking for is actuarial science. That's going to be your best bet to set you up for your actuarial career. But if you can't find an actuarial science program near you, you can also go into something like finance or math or economics or, I don't know, Google it. Drama. Drama sounds fun. But how do you write your first actuarial exam? First thing you're going to want to do is decide which exam to write. If you're going to start writing actuarial exams, you're probably going to start writing them with the Society of Actuaries or the SOA. The exam to start with is either exam P, which stands for probability, or exam FM, which stands for financial mathematics. The two are at approximately the same level of difficulty, and the material doesn't overlap, so you don't need to know one to know the other. I've heard people say that they think FM is easier, and I would agree with that, but P is about the same level of difficulty. If you wanted to know which university courses would apply to either one, exam P is your probability exam, so any statistics probability course should give you a basic idea of what's going to be on the exam, although it goes more into to the actuarial realm of how probability works. And for FM, you're going to want to take a financial math course, so anything with time, value of money, pricing options, things like that. How do you register for the exam? To register for an actuarial exam with the Society of Actuaries, you're going to want to go to their website, and I will link the link below in the description. I think the process is fairly self-explanatory, so I'm not going to go too much into that. What study material should you be using? There are a lot of study materials available. The preliminary exams are based on textbooks. From these textbooks, people write study manuals, which are more geared towards towards the actual writing of the exam. Personally, I would say it is not necessary to read the textbooks. You can definitely get away with only reading the study materials. The study manuals summarize and teach the concepts from the textbook, give you practice questions, some real past exam questions, and questions made up by the authors of the study manual, and they give you practice exams that are similar to your actual exam that you'll be writing. Personally, I use the ACTEX manual for exam P and the ASM manual for the rest of my preliminary exams, and not to brag, but I passed them all on the first try. Okay, that was a little braggy, I know. You can purchase both ACTEX and ASM manuals at the ACTEX Mad River website. I'll post the link in the description below. But those are just two of many options for the preliminary exam, so feel free to go to Actuarial Outpost, link in the description, and there are infinite threads on what is the best study manual to use. Another exciting study resource that you can use is called ADAPT. ADAPT is a computer system on the Coaching Actuaries website link in the description, which gives you computer-based practice exams that adapt to your level. They start you off at a level three exam, meaning that the average level of difficulty of the questions is about a level three. As you start doing better and better on the exams, they will move you up a level. The actual exam is said to be about a level six or a seven, and people who start to get to that level and adapt are much more likely to pass the exam on the first try. Adapt is bought in blocks of time, so if I remember correctly, I think you can buy maybe a 24 hour or a week or two weeks or a month. I'm not exactly sure. I personally started using ADAPT on exam MFE, so I did not use it for P or FM, but I can see how it would definitely be useful if you wanted a little bit of extra help. How many hours do you need to study is a very good question. They recommend 100 hours of studying per hour of exam, and both P and FM are three hour exams, which means they recommend 300 hours of studying. <gasps> For PNFM, I would say about two to three months of studying is what you should expect to do. Is it going to cut into your social life? Yes. Are you going to start hating studying? Yes. Are you going to want to quit the actuarial profession, run away to Hawaii and join the circus? Maybe. I don't know. I did like every second day when I study, but I'm a complainer. How do the exams work? Both P and FM are CBT exams, which means they are computer-based testing. The exams are offered on alternating months. P in January, FM in February, P in March, FM in April, etc, etc. During the testing window, you go to a testing center called Prometric, where they'll check your ID and make you sign in and scan you with a metal detector to make sure you're really the person who's supposed to be writing the exam. Then they seat you at a computer and it's all you. The exams are multiple choice. You read the question, A, next, B, next, A, next, C, next, etc, etc. You'll have a countdown timer at the top of your screen saying how much time you have left. And at the end of the exam, there's a little survey saying, how did you find this exam? What materials did you use to study? Blah, blah. But basically people go next, 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 next. Because right after the survey, a screen pops up that says, 
you passed or you didn't pass. That's the fun thing about these exams, you find out right away if you passed. Because these exams are offered over a testing window and not at a specific day, you and someone else writing in the same testing window will not have the same exam. Questions are pulled from a bank of questions, but every exam is at about the same level of difficulty. Some of the questions on your exam may not be graded. These are pilot questions used to assess the difficulty of that question so that when they put it in the real bank of questions, they'll know how many people are expected to get it right so that they can assess the level of difficulty for the next person's exam. You'll get maybe three to five pilot questions and you have no way of knowing which ones are pilot questions. Hope this answered some of your actuarial exam writing questions. If you have any more questions, please leave them in the comments below. Maybe I'll make a video about it some other time. But if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to see more of my face. I'm putting out new videos every single day in August. Thank you for calling. Bye.